How's it going guys? My name is Senna or Snow, whichever one floats your boat. Welcome back to another video. Apparently, Addison Ray has been exposed by one of her ex-friends. I don't know, I have a pet peeve of like, ex-friends apparently exposing people after they become famous. I don't know, it just feels like a quick way for them to try to get clout. I don't know, that's my opinion, but let's see what happens. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe because it's lit. And yeah, it's just lit. I got the tea play. Addison let's see what Ray happens. Just got exposed by her old friend. I mean, I don't know. It just it just it just seems like like these people are just too two faced, you know? Like the ex friends, you know? They pretend to be friends. Hey loves, your girl is back then, with a very problematic I don't know. and scandalous recap for you guys. Scandalous. You guys, I'm so disappointed to say this, but Whoa. Noah Schnapp has officially said the N word and people Noah are Schapp. not He said the N word? <sighs> Oh no. I mean, we have to see. I don't know. Happy. We were all rooting for you. In today's recap, is he also dating Millie Bobby Brown? Addison Ray responding to an old friend exposing her. Noah Schnapp apologizing <coughs> after saying the <coughs> N word in a leaked video. Fans Poking calling the out Charlie D'Amelio again. They're mad at Charlie again? A book. There's a lot of hot tea to spill into I don't know. I feel like so some people are just so extra. Right you know? I know? can't Ooh. believe there's another <gasps> old friend who just exposed Addison Ray. Also, these old friends aren't even friends. Like, usually they're just like, they just happen to go to the same class as them or like the same high school, you know? Okay, for ditching her. Is this Wait, real? Wait, ditching old her? friend who just exposed Addison Ray for ditching her. How could is she ditch really her? Is becoming a trend now? So... Also, yeah. another thing to keep in mind is that usually a lot of people in high school, you'll find out this as well, Usually they're just friends with people because they spend so much time with them. But as soon as they get the option to not spend time with them, they disappear. I've probably seen the huge mess that has been going around lately where TikTokers' dark pasts have been getting exposed. And well, what dark past? Addison is the new TikToker on the list. <gasps> this mess Addison. all happened after her old best friend posted a Her old best friend? Some best friend she is for backstabbing her. This person's a piece of garbage. TikTok showing their old friendship before Addison got famous. When at Addison Ray was your actual Tracy and I say every time are you with anybody and it was always yeah Tracy okay so you guys were friends and guys after this was posted a lot of people decided to come for Addison because <laughs> well people were saying that Addison basically ditched her friend after she got famous it's sad how people forget their friends when they get a <gasps> little fame I mean it's not like I don't know what we don't know what the story is. Maybe the friend was rude to her after I don't know she didn't get a shout out or something. You never know these things, you I know. See how people change after they get. She really dropped all her hometown. Her friends. hometown friends. Now, after tons of assumptions were made about Addison, her old friend decided to speak up yet again and made the situation even worse by liking a very shady comment. Saying, see, this is what I don't like. Like, obviously, the friend is just doing this for clout. You know, like if I had a friend, they got super famous all of a sudden, and then like they just forgot about me, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> you know, I want to like post about it. That seems kind of rude. Addison Ray seeing this knowing damn well that her Tracy is Courtney Kardashian. I mean, she ain't holding back. I don't know. At all. However, after all of this went down, Addison herself decided to respond to the Ooh. video by leaving a comment, basically ending any rumors that people may have that there is any. What'd she say? Them. Oh, Grace, this is so sad. <laughs> Our story is crazy. <laughs> oh, Grace, this is so sad. In other words, Back off, B. And not only this, you guys, but Addison wasn't really happy either by the fact that people created drama for no reason. So she decided to hit back at her haters and had this to say. Gracie and I had a great friendship through another relationship. And after the breakup, we still talk. Also Wait, what? We had a friendship through? So it sounds like Addison dated someone or sh I don't know. So I moved from where she lived to go to college four hours away. You tell me if you hang out with everyone from high school. Ooh. Saying I changed and dropped my Clap friends. Clap back. Excuses? Nothing? Who's going to drive four hours to hang out with a friend? Did the other friend even drive four hours to see her? I don't think so, all right? Friendship is a two-way street. Okay. I'm on Addison's my side. Best friend from high school to LA this year. We had a close relationship through my relationship. Okay, so... 
She was family. After the breakup, we still were friends. With that being said, y'all, her... Yeah, so it sounds like the other girl became friends with Addison because... I don't know, she was something with the boyfriend. Friend that posted the video later came forward and defended Addison from the hate and let Oh, everyone... now you defend Addison from the hate. Oh, okay. After you got some clout, okay. You know that her TikTok video was made for good intentions. Yeah, only. that is some Literally, why BS is this getting negative right attention? there. <laughs> no part of BS. This bring... Why is this getting negative attention? It's because you made <sighs> And then they always try to play the innocent card. Do you ever notice that? After they expose someone to get clout, and then they always get it, like, play the innocent card after, like, they get proven wrong or something. Bring her down at all. Y'all are getting the wrong idea. Me and her still talk as much as we can and never stopped on bad terms or anywhere near that. And she probably doesn't even speak to this girl now. We actually do talk. Bet you her. anything, after this, Addison's not even going to talk to her, like, ever again, because that's a B move right there. She's obviously a very busy person. To if I was honest, Addison, the old I wouldn't even talk to her anymore. After she tried to expose you for this, Addison, but anyways, cut her off. Cut her off. Anyways, loves, do you think that Addison did change after? I think Addison should just cut her not off. Not only <gasps> donating money to Peaches, but for also defending Chase Hudson after saying the N word. However, after a I mean, I didn't think Chase Hudson saying the N word was as bad as it could have been. You know, it's not like he was calling someone else. The N word. You know? A couple of months passed without hearing anything new about Noah. He finally came back with a huge scandal after a video got leaked of him saying the N word multiple times while singing. Just so he was singing. This is one thing I also don't get too. Aren't you allowed to sing the song? Like, shouldn't you be allowed to sing the song? I don't because ha, my mouth is clean. But like. You know, if someone's singing a song and they say the N-word and the N-word's in the song, it's not that bad, you know? Look at this. I mean, this is like a song that like, that like... Out of my room. Whoa. What the actual <laughs> Anyways, as well can also, this seems like a long time ago. A lot of people started canceling Noah as soon as that video looked old. That looked like it was shot on like an iPhone one. And not only that, but even the hashtag Noah Schnapp is over party started trending on Twitter as well. I think people well. overreacting. I mean, how many times Noah Schnapp gets canceled? <laughs> this kid is so What? He's not problematic. This is the first time I've ever heard of him Noah, getting canceled. Except for with Finn. Really snapped in half. Hashtag Noah Schnapp is over party. He's a privileged white boy Whoa. that's friends with the hype house. What did y'all expect? Now, after tons of hate That was like a long time ago. I'm not mad at him for that. He forward and shut down the rumors on his Instagram uh, story. Yeah. And what? I'm gonna just show you what he said. Hi guys, recently a video from last summer has gotten out of me dancing and singing a song while singing the word neighbor. Neighbor. I would truly never say the oh, word. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. I genuinely have never yeah, don't say the N word. I mean, if you do, make sure you, you don't get filmed. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna get canceled. I never even think about doing that. My friends also you are my neighbor. You are my neighbor. Support me if All right, what else is there? All of the all right, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty juicy. I don't know, something about the friend exposing Addison just like makes me upset. Cause obviously like the friend was just after clout and you could just see it. And then it was just like, I don't know, all these two-faced people, you can't trust nobody these days. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about Legal Life Get Dressed. Also Noah, I don't think there's anything wrong with Noah. I, he probably didn't even see the, he probably didn't even say the N word. Probably just said neighbor. You are my neighbor. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Peace.